Hello, everyone. My name is Rob. And I'm Kit. And she's never seen BoJack Horseman. No, I haven't. Back in the 90s. Oops. So absolute fair warning. This show is, uh... That's not Ibsen, sure. A warning to all viewers, this show may not be for all audiences. We're going to laugh about it, though, aren't we? What are you expecting from this show, Kit, based on what I've told you? Uh, pain and suffering. But it's a funny ha-ha comedy show. There is no pain and suffering. It's called tragedy and comedy. A comma tragedy? Horsin' Around is filmed before a live studio audience. Did you know Netflix made this show? No. Never would have guessed. The show, in which a young bachelor horse is forced to reevaluate his priorities when he agrees to raise three human children. <laughs> All right, jokes are landing. Jokes are landing. Just the pose of him with the ice cream bowl. I don't know that got me. Oh, they eviscerate 90s comedy so well in this show. It is good to be here, Charlie. Sorry I was late to traffic. Is that Lego Batman? No, 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 no. No, no, I don't think I should drive right now. I'm, I'm incredibly drunk. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, we were talking every time I hear his around. voice, though, the this guy, I hear um, what's his name? Is he the one who played Remy in Ratatouille? Patton Oswalt? Yes. Yes. Okay. That that's where my brain was going. It went. It derailed. <laughs> I was so invested. I was like. What have you been doing since the show's cancellation 18 years ago? That's a great question, Charlie. I, uh, uh, I, um... Uh-oh. There you go. We've met our hero? The main character? He's the main character. That's a good way of putting it. Just because you're the main character doesn't mean you want to be the main character. Right. Oh, no. one-year-old Phoenix, you are... Maury. I just want to know how people Maury come up with these premises sometimes. Because my parents kicked me out and I had nowhere to go. And even though you don't want anyone to know it. <laughs> you secretly have a good heart. Also, if you're looking for the toaster strudels, I got really high last night and ate them all. Not the <sighs> toaster strudel. Bojack Horseman, the Bojack Horseman story. Written by Bojack Horseman. Chapter one. Oh. Chapter. Oh. Yeah, I feel this. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! no! Look, just give me one more week, and I will give you some pages that'll knock your ass back to the South Pole. I'm from Cincinnati. Oof. Nay way, Jose. <laughs> Nay way, Jose. <laughs> God, he's such a washed up has been. I know, right? Three little orphans. One, two, three. Without, Without a home or a family tree. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait till you find out that the little girl is Maybell from now Gravity Falls. Are you drunk? Todd, I weigh over 1,200 pounds. It takes a lot of beer to get me drunk. Oh no. Yes. This is the character I think you're going to vibe with the most. Bojack, we need to talk. Hey, check She's out the rug a on that cat. Guy. What is the problem here? Are you embarrassed of me because I'm a has-been? Because you know that I'm writing that book that is gonna make everybody love me again. Self-conscious much? Yeah, is. Isn't he the cutest baby you ever saw? What, 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 no, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come <laughs> away from the stolen vehicle, sir. No, 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 misunderstanding, officer. I was running away from my girlfriend, whom I don't respect enough to have a baby with. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a, that was good. That was a good joke. Isn't it a great example of show don't tell? Yeah. We're actually in the middle of breaking up right now, so if you could just yeah, you're in the middle of it. Yeah, that's right. So would it be awkward if I joined you right now? Yes, actually, it's bit. very awkward. Is that <laughs> not clear? Yeah, this is awkward right now. Yes, please leave. Oh, is it Clydesdale? Never a Clyde, eh, Bojack? What? What? <laughs> You'll get that one later. <laughs> Erica! This is why we're breaking up. So it's not because of the thing with the baby? No, that was hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bojack! Oh my god, we just broke up. Yeah, but I'm still your agent. I pride oh, myself no! on my ability to separate yep. my professional life from my from personal, personal life. life. Oh my god. Then as my agent, do you think I'm getting fat? No way. Yes. You are in the prime of your life. Nope. Never looked better. She's an agent. What about my ex-girlfriend? You looked like a pile of crap, ate a second pile of crap, and then crapped out a third pile of crap. I'm not calling you as your ex. I'm calling you as your agent. Remember That's that actually hilarious. <laughs> it's, she's the best character in the whole damn show. This company is in dire straits. <laughs> No! 
Todd! What? Did Sabrina grow up before our eyes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he answers from the other time. room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Secretariat. What? <laughs> that's funny. That's a funny joke. She's cute. Call her. Th that's a loan, by the way. But you can take anything you want from the Swamp Monster swag box. <laughs> 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 Is this their version of Twilight? <laughs> yep. $20 million in marketing. <laughs> oh, where's Gabriella? She went back to Mexico City, AC. This be chaos. With her Todd's chaos what? is beautiful. No! <sighs> Gabriella, why? Oh? No! <laughs> I can't say no to people because I want everyone to like me. You want everyone to like you? Yeah, why? Do people not like me? Uh. uh... What were we talking about? Hey, why don't you just let that lady write your She's book still and be there. done with it? Better question, why are you in my kitchen? Why are you so obsessed with throwing a party all of a sudden? <laughs> you came back to the chaos. <laughs> you know how much money we lost because of you? Because parties are fun? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Actually, what if they're right? I can't breathe. Am I dying? Toast. I smell burning toast! Oh my god, my toast! <laughs> <laughs> that joke was funny. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, well, what? we did everything we could. What is happening? The end. What do you mean? He's dead. That's right, sweetheart. He died of a broken heart because you didn't appreciate him enough. And now what is happening? Forever. We might have gone too dark on that series finale. <laughs> My brain was like, I'm... What? But we're not getting a cotton candy machine. I can't control myself around those things. <laughs> Please tell me they're all cotton candy machines. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, that rhino was in the... Yes. Cartel. Oh, so any party with Mexican teenage girls is a quinceanera. Now who's racist? <laughs> <laughs> I find that pinata offensive. Hey, Mr. Peanut Butter. Can you believe this? The two of us in the same house? Is this a crossover episode? Why is no. his name Mr. Peanut Butter? Because he's a dog. So he has a really dumb dog name? I mean, so does Princess Carolyn. That's a cat name. Fair. Bojack, right? Bojack Horseman? Yes. I don't know. Parties make me anxious in a real broad sense. Like, Look at that guy. He's having fun. Why haven't I figured it out? What guy? No, there's no guy there. I'm oh, saying, no. Like, guy. Oh, no, what? You know? oh, Nothing. Okay, yeah. Say I'm it, say it, say it. I Am I Diane? We'll talk. <laughs> oh, I see you met my beautiful girlfriend, Diane Nguyen. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> the mountain of puked up cotton candy. That's so gross. Also, you can't puke up cotton candy, it dissolves. Well, I am here, I exist. So the things that Diane said, I was like, oh no, 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 no. Why no, 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 no. We'll talk later. I don't think you're Diane. There are elements of Diane. She develops in a way, let's just say people hated her halfway through the show. Oh no. But she is one of, she does some shitty things, but like, I honestly, sincerely feel like she is one of my favorites. I did resonate with some of the stuff she did say though. But it's a great starter, no? What'd you think of the first episode? I mean, I, I feel like I need to watch more of it to make an objective decision, but. On to episode two. Yeah. Say when. When. Typical right, Tuesday yeah, night, yeah. am I right? <laughs> Don't put things in my butt if you want them back. And hold for Princess Carolyn. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. When you're walking alone, no, I can't escape it, Kit. No, no, not no. Chats. Oh. Maybe because no. you're skinny, and maybe because you're pretty, weird, you're used to getting away with things. But I want you to know that your actions have an effect on others, and I hate you, and you are a horrible person. And you not understanding that you're a horrible person doesn't make you less of a horrible person. Hmm, self-reflection much? Dang. 
You think I'm pretty? But <laughs> Oh god, no. Ah! Oh no. What'd you say? I was tweeting about all the weird stuff you do in bed. Actually, ma'am, it's called X. But <laughs> you're you're what is it? Xing? Posting? What are we calling it? I don't know, man. I I'm over it. I just call it Twitter still. I just realized the light. I'm noticing things I haven't seen in this show. His license plate is whoa, boy. That better not be my last toaster strudel. No, there were three left. Hey, Bojack. Ah, uh, why are you here? So I thought I'd drop by with the old tennis ball and chain. Tennis ball and chain. <sighs> Did you know that he's a dog? Woof. 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 Peanut butter and jelly. Well, it's a working title. Well, it could be working harder. <laughs> How'd you even get in here? Your roommate let us in. Mi casa es su casa. And that is the last of the toaster strudels, and now my morning is ruined. I really shouldn't eat chocolate because it can literally kill me. Oh, I know. But I love chocolate. Story of my life. <laughs> I feel like oh, that's no. dogs acting like humans. <laughs> that's the most, like, I am human, herper, herper. Hey, excuse me. Those are my muffins. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't understand. That's the last box, and I had dibs on them. Really? You had dibs. Oh no. Yeah. This is the entire episode, by I the way. The muffins? The yes. Look. And I really regret buying those muffins. Pure spite. <gasps> eat a, eat alert. Here's your omelet. I'm sorry it's not as good as the omelets your secretary makes, but then you're not married to your secretary, are you? Well, oh my gosh. My Mommy, can I have an omelet? You're the birthday boy. Oh no. <laughs> when you're walking alone, because oh God. <laughs> Oh, forget how many times they do this the joke. Right no, the right Jellicle Cats. Our guest via satellite is Neil McBeal, a naval officer on leave oh from Afghanistan. Oh my god. <laughs> this world, you can either do things the easy way or the right way. You take a boat from here to New York. You're gonna go around the horn like a gentleman or cut through the Panama Canal like some kind of Democrat? Um, the canal? You go around the horn the way God intended. That's right, the way God intended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I boy. Me father, playing golf with friends. <laughs> Did you just say you think the troops are jerks? Oh, you took that the bad way, didn't you? <laughs> this is his, um, Charlie Sheen. Oh my god, you're right. He's winning. When you're walking alone, because jellicles are and jellicles oh. <laughs> we can't with no. the cats. Bojack jerk off. Really? That's really funny. There's some news headlines that I look at and I'm just like, who wrote this? <laughs> this got passed? I've already reached out to the McBeal camp. He's willing to publicly forgive you if you publicly apologize and present to him a box of muffins as a symbol of your great admiration for the American military and everything they do. Easy, right? That's a solid plan. Easy, easy. <laughs> We have how many minutes left in the episode? I ate those two. We've been here for 10 minutes! <gasps> Someone's at the door! I will see who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I am dog, but I am calm. As a token of my admiration, oh, no. please accept this bag of stale hamburger buns. What? Yes, hamburger buns. It's a symbol for how we throw our veterans in the trash, sadly far too often. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna bullshit his way through this, isn't he? Oh, 100%. A genre which thrives on chopping the complexities of our era into easily digestible chunks of empty cat's phrases. Your eyes got so wide. <laughs> You're not gonna make me look like an asshole, are you? I don't know. Are you an asshole? Okay, full truth. Here we go. <laughs> he pauses. You want to know about my parents? He knows. Of they course. drank. He used to make me cry with him while listening to Cole Porter records. He made me build my own oh. tree house, and then he tore it down while I was at summer camp because instead of hardy Christian nails, I used screws, which he called fancy Jew nails. Oh. Like I said, totally normal. Oh no. Uh. Oh God, but this episode. Oh no, oh no. Hey, where's Sabrina? Not hiding under the table, that's for sure. Yeah, I hear, no, there's Mabel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the Mabel episode. And how about Sarah Lynn and Sabrina? Isn't she wonderful? Oh, 
Thank you. Sarah Lynn, you Filmed remember in that front name. of a live Back studio audience. everybody. Oh, here's hey, the cracks. Yeah? Well, those boobs and jerkwads are the best friends you'll ever have. Without them, you're nothing. Remember that. Let's take it back to... Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, no matter how much it hurts, you don't stop dancing, and you don't stop smiling, and you give those people what they want. And action! Why aren't you oh. dressed for school, Prickly Muffin? Uh. Oh. You may remember oh her as adorable oh, Ryan Seacrest type. Oh, Brown, no. But on her new dance pop album, Sarah oh, Lynn wants you to know that she is yeah. hot. Yeah, who's gonna drop. say... Oh no. <laughs> oh, the auto tune. What I can't. The, <laughs> the fact that it's music. Mabel, I can't. Americans need to know that I'm not that little girl anymore. I'm a grown up, sophisticated woman now, and I have sex, and I do sexy things. My brain is broken. I'm just gonna. I'm. Uh, uh, like. <laughs> it takes so much getting used to. But it's actually perfect casting. Because, like, she's supposed to be a cute, adorable child, but then. Pop star and child actress Sarah Lynn celebrates her 30th birthday this month, raising the question, does anyone care about Sarah Lynn anymore? Oh. Here to answer that question, sexy 14-year-old dubstep wonderkin, Sextina Aquafina. Sextina Aquafina? <laughs> Singer of my This is ginormous. I never caught that one either. <gasps> She should go wherever famous people go when they're done being famous and nobody cares if they live or die. Dear Lord. Hearing the Mabel voice, though, that, that's a little, uh, it'll take a little time getting used to, I think. She's a phenomenal actress. Oh my gosh. O-M-M-F-C-S-D-V-R-Q-Q-P-Q-F-G! I know. Uh, what? Yeah, it's me, straight off your TV screen. Is there a the joke there that I'm missing? Probably. I've never deciphered it. There he What's is. your name, darling? I Spooderman. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for making his hair the most obnoxious, largest thing on his <laughs> Andrews, my boyfriend. We're a celebrity power couple. It's no big deal. It's a really big deal. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about Mabel when she tries to go out with every boy imaginable in Gravity Falls. <laughs> I don't even know what you are anymore. Are you... Are you breaking up? What is this? Oh, bother. <laughs> Space touching. Um, oh. candy pills? Because if so, that is a lot of sugar. Uh, graphic violence warning, I think? Because you know I'll bleed for you. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, dear. You think I won't make a scene, you limey bastard? Then you really don't know me at all. Hey, everyone. Who wants to see me take a dump on that sofa? Oh yeah, this is definitely pure despair. Well, maybe the two of you can catch up some more when she gets out of rehab. What is so the picture in the background? Um, foreshadowing. Ugh, what are you, the paramedic who restarted my heart at Adam Levine's Halloween party? <laughs> oh, no. okay. oh, thanks for letting me crash here, Bojack. The guest room is yours as long as you want. You have a guest room? Why have I been sleeping on the couch for five years? You'll get the guest room when you've earned the guest room. Why do I see you saying that as a joke? You get the guest room when you earn the guest room. Because comedically I'm Bojack, but that's about it. Uh, that somebody was you, right? I don't have to answer your questions. What are you, the cop that pulled me over after Adam Levine's Halloween party? <laughs> it's always Adam Levine's Halloween party. I want to go to an Adam Levine's Halloween party for some reason. I see. I'm a burden to you. No, 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 sweetheart, sweetheart. I'm no longer cute, so I have nothing to offer this world. Honey, of course your friends are always welcome here. Cool, bye. Manipulation. You let that basket case into your house? That girl is a PR hurricane that you don't need right now. She fired her agent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up, horsey. Did you say Sarah Lynn doesn't have an agent? Laura, hold my calls. Can't do <laughs> everything. Liam's got a white right whale to catch, baby. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> His face. Uh, hello? What do you think about Sarah Lynn? Oh, I don't really think about her all that much. I mean, obviously, I'm a fan of her early work, which both satirized and celebrated youth culture's obsession with sex. But I do wonder, as a third-wave feminist, if it's even possible for women to reclaim their sexuality in this deeply entrenched patriarchal society. Or if claiming to do so is just a lie we tell ourselves so we can more comfortably cater to the male gaze. 
Uh, what? But you know, on the other hand, I worry that conversations like this one often dismiss her as a mere puppet of the industry. That's my same worry. Incapable of engaging in these discussions herself. Obviously. And infantilization, which is itself a product of the <laughs> Oh no, I turned into Bojack when it. this happens. But like I said, I don't want so to think about her all that much. Honey, college is for ugly people who can't tap dance. But I want to be an architect. Sweetheart, mommy didn't do what mommy did to that Star Search producer so that you could be an architect. Mm. All right, take it sleazy, oh. everybody. Wait, Bojack. Too um, real. What are you doing this Take weekend? it sleazy. Oh no, why does that bring me back to a uh, the good place? I'll say this to you, my friend, with all the love in my heart and all the wisdom of the universe. Take it sleazy. She's taking advantage of you. What? No, she's not. We have a special relationship. You couldn't possibly understand. Oh my god, look at what she's done to your house. All right, look, I mean, I stepped on a needle earlier. I think I'm addicted to heroin now. So now oh, that's no. probably gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> that's yeah, probably hey, a whole hey, thing. Talk. Never yeah, comes up fun. again. Hey, did you hear Kazaz got cancer? Well, that's horrible. Why would you tell me that now? I don't know. The sun setting over those two hills made me think of a big ass, and that made me think <laughs> of ass cancer, and that made me think of her Kazaz's ass cancer. You really didn't know. <laughs> I want to give you something. Is this your TV Guide Award? Oh, wow. Bojack, thanks. You're sweet. Just let the credits roll. Let the credits roll. Special moment. Exec producer Gary Marshall. Like, he actually is that delusional. He's living in the sitcom itself. I can't believe you pawned my award. You are way out of line. You're not my dad. You're just a rugged older man who provided me with a strong masculine presence during my formative years. I'm not your dad, <laughs> and you're not my child. We're just a man and a lady living mm. in a house together, and we're both adults, and we're both a little drunk. Uh. Oh. 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 It gets worse. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a bad little girl. It gets worse. You are bad. Very bad. You want me to put it out? With my boob. Uh, what? Your Poor Todd. boob is a very... Todd, no. Todd, Todd, run. Run. Todd, Todd, run. Todd, run. Todd, leave. What is happening? <laughs> I think you have a serious the drug problem. The porn music. The only drug I need is horse. Guys, guys, oh. what are you doing? Please don't do this. No. No. <laughs> no this is a very bad idea. Can I, can I at least get my blanket out? Let me get my blanket out from under... Oh, God. Oh, oh. my God. My arm. You got my arm. I'm in it now. <laughs> no, I'm a part of it. <laughs> I still haven't regained the feeling in my fingers. That was the longest two minutes of my life. I gotta take an angry nap. <sighs> <sighs> Ouch, more like trauma nap. Am I Todd? I'm Todd. Yes, I'm Todd. <laughs> you need to go where you can get help. Real help. But I thought you were always gonna be there for me. I will always be there for you. Cut. Let's take ten. It's just ten, it's everyone. So Let's frustrating. Make it a ten. I'm at a place right now where I never need to grow as a person or rise to an occasion because I can constantly just surround myself with sycophants and enablers until I die tragically young. What? What? Oh wow. Too late. This is what our celebrity culture does to people. So what you're saying is everything is society's fault and we as individuals never need to take responsibility for anything. No! I didn't do anything wrong because I can't do anything wrong. <sighs> In the 90s. Ew, oh lord. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ah! I told you, oh no, this episode. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. Why is that say Zoe's in Zelda's? I'd explain it, but it spoils the episode. That was an experience. You can be honest. Well, I don't really know what to say. I'm still kind of processing, to be honest. When I'm watching with someone, I'm just like, I don't know if we should stop on that episode. I'm like, they're like, oh, let's watch one more. No, it's a, it's an 11. Trust me, be happy while you can. Oh, no. Because <laughs> if you stop on an 11, you shouldn't stop on an 11. Thank you for joining us, everyone. That's Bojack Horseman. And what do you got to say about it? Uh... We'll keep subjecting Kit to this so long as uh, if you if you like the video and comment below or subscribe to the channel. Do whatever you'd like. Bye.